invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed and Buck Wallace. Basco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Me, well, now that I'm here in America over a year, I'm getting to act like a real America. All day long, I'm a play the radio. <laughs> I'm a listener to what they call a disc jockey. That's the fellow. That's the fellow who not can sing, act, or make the funny jokes, but he's got a big talent for playing a phonograph. <laughs> Over here, nobody is a sing, nobody is a act, nobody is a tell a funny joke. And nobody is a play record. It's just everybody to get the rich. <laughs> That's the night I'm here how one lady is a winner refrigerator, a gas stove, a mink coat, and a thousand dollars. All because she's got a brain to answer the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> but mamma mia, I'm meant to my telephone a thousand times since I'm an American. All I'm going to get is a bigger bill. <laughs> Another program I'm going to enjoy very much is after Gazette. Everybody is like him. He's a talk so easy, so smooth. And he's a so relaxed that sometimes I'm a wonder why my radio is an awful old. <laughs> also, he's a play for what they call a ukulele. To me, Arthur Godfrey is a real American. So I'm by myself a ukulele, too. I'm a coming down to check in a taxi, a honey. Gotta be ready at 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah. This is time to go, honey. Oh, wait for the sin of my country, Mother Pasquale. Here's the money. Hello, Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, Luigi, my daughter Rose is asking me I should give you this letter. Huh? Oh, Valentine card. Well, Pasquale, Valentine Day is in a February. But my daughter Rosa every day is a Valentine. <laughs> Go ahead, Luigi. Read what she's writing you inside. All right, sir. Let me see. Go ahead. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you marry me, I'll marry you. <laughs> well, what do you ask to my son? Pasquale, if I'm going to be sensible... I'm I... no ask you to be sensible. Be stupid and marry my daughter. <laughs> no, Pasquale, she's a too fat. Fat, a fat. There you go with the fat talk again. And Luigi, you remember one thing. Like a Professor Einstein says, everything in a life has got a relative. <laughs> Rose is away 250 pounds, but compared to the fat lady in the circus is away 750 pounds, or to the elephant that's away two tons, Rose is just a drop in the bucket. <laughs> Who buy a bucket? <laughs> oh, well, please, no more talk about a Rose. All right, all right, Luigi. But uh, let's talk about you and your future. Future? Yes. After all, you're getting old all the time. You've got to start thinking. What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, uh, I don't know, Pasquale. I was thinking, uh, maybe I'm going to be an engineer and build the bridge. So no good. This the country's got more bridges than it's got of water. <laughs> well, uh, a lawyer, maybe. That's bad, too. You go on a night to school. Even if you get a law diploma, you can only practice it a night to court. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I'm going to be a doctor. A doctor, Luigi, you're making me laugh. But don't you know in America, a doctor's got to be an M.D. And you initials are they L.B. 
Alibi? Sure. And in your case, the alibi is the stand of a lazy bachelor. <laughs> Luigi, believe me, it's only one job for a fella like you who's got no talent. What the job is this? Husband. <laughs> What are you promising not to talk about? All right, all right. Calm down. Relax. <laughs> Don't forget about a rose. All right. Oh, hey. Hey, Pasquale, I'm almost a forgot. Look what I'm about to myself today. Hey, what is that? A fry in a pan? <laughs> no, it's a ukulele. <laughs> you look like a fiddle that forgets to grow up. <laughs> what are you going to do with that thing? Kill the flies? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Pasquale, you should have heard me play. I'm a kind of sing and the company of myself at the same time. Sounds like a double a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only just to stand there, Luigi. Let's hear this the greatest talent. Play something. All right. Uh, what do you want I should have played? Mendelssohn's Wedding March. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pasquale, that's uh, too hard. But uh, listen to this. Something I'm going to hear from Arthur Godfrey. He's a player. I'm coming down to get in a taxi, honey. Gotta be there at 30 p.m. That's all. All right, all right. Stop. That's enough. That's no good, huh, Pasquale? No good. Luigi, I'm going to take back everything I'm going to say before about you. You've got to break a talent. Me? Oh, Pasquale, please. You're making a fun. No, Luigi. I think you're sensational. If you was to lose 100 pounds, get to look like a sick cow, and a sing like you just sang... Frank and Sinatra has got to go out of business. <laughs> but, well, stop the teasing of me. Luigi, use your head. Just to think, in America, who's the biggest to sing? Italian. Sinatra, Mario Lanza, Vic De Moore, Perry Como, Bing Crosby. <laughs> That's the Bing Crosby. And, Pasquale, he's not Italian. He's an Irish-American. I don't care if he's a scotch Terrier. Like a portion of singing, you know? That's the right. Sure. Now, Luigi, you do like I say. Is the time you begin to plan for your future. Pasquale, you're not just making a fun of it to me, huh? I mean, you really think I can be big like a Sinatra? Sure. You're Italian. You've got a nice face, and you can sing. Right away, you've got a three strikes against you. <laughs> Sure, and best of all, when the women look at a Sinatra, they want to mother him. But you got a face, so when they look at it, everybody's going to have a pity. Oh, Pasquale, you're giving me big ambition. I'm going to go out to my night school class and tell my friends all about the UID. Go, go, go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, come on, Danny. Get in the taxi, honey. Better be ready <laughs> what, class, class, please? Good. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Harwin? Present. Mr. Olsen? Present. Mr. Schultz? <laughs> well, Mr. Schultz, why don't you answer? Because tonight I'm playing hard to get. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, fellow boobers. Why ain't I the little devil cop tonight? <laughs> Mr. Schultz, instead of disrupting the class, why don't you concentrate on your work? Now, our English lesson tonight concerns the subjunctive mood. Uh, Mr. Schultz, tell us about the use of the subjunctive. Or don't you know? Who, me? I should know the subjunctive. Miss Barton, believe me, if anybody Just knows the subjunctive. Just tell us subjunctive. about the subjunctive, Mr. Schultz. All right, all right. The subjunctive. Now, that's... Uh, well, I've got to give us that. Uh, if I say you must go... Uh, well, that's no good. Uh, subjunctive. Now, so you take, for instance, that, uh, look, well, now, subjunctive is just this. What? Miss Barley, I can't stand it. Give me the confession. I die on the bottom and you can hang me. I thought so. Uh, will somebody else try? Mr. Basco, what do you think? I think I'm a singer as good as Sinatra. <laughs> what? Well, the Pasquale is a hymn he sing on my ukulele. And he says I'm going to make a fortune because even being a Crosby, he's a Scotch-Italian. 
What? Luigi, you should be careful with your friend Pasquale. Every piece of advice he gives you is aimed at only one target, Rosa. Target? She's the whole shooting gallery. <laughs> Something stupid to say, shut up! <laughs> no, Luigi, what's this with you and Pasquale? Well, uh, Pasquale is to hear me sing on a play my ukulele, and uh, he says that I should sing on a radio. What do you think it should? I think between you and television, radio is doomed. <laughs> sure, that wasn't a nice thing to say. Maybe Luigi has got a talent and someone should exploit it. But that's right, Luigi. If you got the talent, I would like to be the first one to explode it. <laughs> I guess I guess I'm gonna make a fool of myself, huh? Sure. No, no, no! Stop that talk, Luigi! I was only fooling. Who knows? Maybe if you got it in you to be another Sinatra, the only way you can find out is to die. That's right, Luigi. There's a lot of amateur shows on the radio and even in the movie theater. You're very young, then. Yeah, me, Luigi. That, that was a good idea. Amateur show? Well, sure, Luigi. Pasquale says you've got talent, but maybe he's just looking to make a fool from you. You should go to the amateur show and prove it. Yeah, pretty sure, so you really think I should go out of this amateur show? Why not? Look, Luigi, there's an amateur show right in our neighborhood movie every Tuesday night. That's right. right. Now, look, I go with you after class and we're going to get you signed up. Your hot ass right there, and we'll even come to the theater and applaud like crazy. All right, so maybe I can do that. Class, you really think I'm going to be good? You might be very good, Mr. Basso. Sure, Luigi. In America, anything can happen. Uh, you bet oh. me. Luigi, the crew. Yes. Yes. Sure no. thing. When Sinatra sings, the young girls, they faint. One note from Luigi's voice, and he wipes out the whole country. <laughs> Is it possible your son Luigi is going to be a millionaire from his singing? If this is to happen, Mamma Mia, right away I'm a send for you. And to Margarita, Uncle Pietro, and his ghost. <laughs> sure. And if the ghost is like it to hear, he can send it for his girlfriend. <laughs> of course, he's going to have to. This is a Chicago. They got a stocky yard, and there's a lot of ghosts there. Anyway, uh, hey, Luigi, how come you didn't tell me you're going to be in the amateur show? Well, Pasquale, you told me I should have planned for the future. So Schultz is advice. Oh, me. that is Schultz is taking over, eh? Luigi, why all the time are you running for advice to a delicatessen of man who's know only about a meat when you know I'm a got everything in my head? Well, you're so right, Pasquale. You're the biggest of meat that I know. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I'm going to say it, it's to come out a different. <laughs> well, Luigi, I'm no mad at you. After all, anybody who's a help for you helps me. Because I'm your manager. You, you, you my, my manager? Sure. Who's to discover you? Columbus? <laughs> Die, I'm going to get some return on the investment I'm going to make on you. What an investment? Well, Luigi, you know, realize that this, but it's to take a big money to build up a new singer. First of all, for this amateur hour, I got a three kid sitting in the audience to clap for you. That's a 30 cents. <laughs> also, right now, I'm taking you to a singing teacher to polish you up. You got a singing teacher for me? Sure, I'm a spare no expense. That's another 25 cents. <laughs> money out of you, I'm going to protect myself, so that's why you're going to sign this manager contract. What's this? What a Pasquale, such a little princess. What's the kind of manager the contract is, is it? 
The usual of 10% the kind. Uh-huh. Everything you earn, you get a 10%. <laughs> Come on, it's time before I'm caught up with Sinatra and it's time of him. Well, all right, Mr. Scully. I, I, I sign. Oh, that's the good of the week. I'm going to give you the biggest build-up anybody's ever get. You're going to sing at the president's ball. Command a performance for the king and queen of England. Everybody's a want of you. You and it's such a demand, you work in a day and a night, a night and a day. You even overwork yourself. And then one day, you know what's to happen? Who out there? You drop dead. <laughs> From that time on, your popularity to grow. People, they write stories about you. And in Hollywood, they make a follow-up with the jokes and the things again. Is it called Bosco things again? Mamma <laughs> mia. Is it a technicolor? Sure, and Larry Parks is never going to look better. Come on, let me see you sing it. Ah, hello, Mr. Gregory. I'm bringing you Luigi Bosco, your new cute. Good, very good. How do you do, Mr. Bosco? I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Gregory. Uh, I don't like that breathing. How long have you been breathing that way? <laughs> what do you say? I say, how long have you been breathing that way? Ever well, since I was born. <laughs> well, stop it. <laughs> huh? A singer must learn to sing from deep down. Here, listen to this. <laughs> there, now you try it. But I'm not going to breathe that way. Don't be silly. Now go over to that window. All right. There, now throw your chest out. <laughs> well, throw your chest out. Please, the first thing you pick up is the Venetian of Lime. Uh, Luigi, don't talk a stupid thing like a fool. I can handle it, Miss Potswally. Now, Mr. Basco, let me hear you sound A. A what? <laughs> The musical note, A, 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 Open the mouth, open the mouth, close the mouth, open the mouth, close the mouth, and open the mouth, from the diaphragm. <laughs> What's the name? The diaphragm, diaphragm. Luigi, you don't be so stupid. When somebody's a draw something for you, that's a diaphragm. <laughs> Will you please keep out of this? But, well, maybe we go home. Listen to Mr. Gregory. I'm bringing him here. You should have learned him to sing professional so he's a win amateur show. And not to be insulted. And I'll show him how he should sing with his ukulele. Can he play that uke? Yes. Can you play by ear? No, I'm going to use the fingers. <laughs> Please, that's nice. Well, Tell me, Mr. Basco, are you familiar with the mic? No, I'm never even a met him. <laughs> All right, let me hear you sing something. I'm a comet to get you in a taxi. Holy nose. Holy nose. Holy nose. Beaten up, you look. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking a nap in a meat chopper? <laughs> oh, this is a long story. But Squally is a take me to sing it a piece. Yeah. And a piece is a hole in my nose, a slap in my face, a punch in my stomach, <laughs> and it's a say, it's a say, I'm not going to sing unless I'm a put it down in my diaphragm and I throw away my chest. <laughs> Luigi, are you for shimmers? <laughs> but, but, but what's the use to talk? Come on, it's time you should go to the amateur show. Sure, she's all a finish. I'm not the going to the amateur show. I'm not through with the singing. So, Luigi, you're all mixed up. You ain't supposed to retire until after you make the million dollars. <laughs> 
the players of shoes. This is no use to fool myself for no more. Some of the people, they're born to be rich and famous. Other people, they're born. That's all. Captain <laughs> born is one of the best things that could happen to a person. Without that, he's nothing. <laughs> What? Uh, now he's got me for shimmers. <laughs> no way, Luigi. Into my head, an idea just popped. I am going to appear with you on the stage. Sure, so you want to make sure? Sure, we form an act. Basto and Schultz. Oh. No, I mean Schultz and Basto. <laughs> I tell funny jokes, you sing, and the audience throws. <laughs> so what do you say, Luigi? Schmeier. <laughs> Just do you wonder? Oh, sure, forget what the teacher said to you. <laughs> so he said, throw away your chest. Why, the master threw away his chest and he made a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me hear you being not yours. All right, yeah. sir. I'm a commandant. I took out of you in a taxi car. No, 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 stop, stop, Luigi. You took it enough taxis today to put the subways out of business. <laughs> We go to the amateur show. I teach you a few jokes and a new song. Sure, see you. You sure it's going to be all right? Sure, I'm sure. Luigi, be like me. Don't worry. Smile. Be happy. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> All right, Schultz, Basto, get ready. The piano act is almost oh, over. I'm You're on next. I'm so nervous. I'm so glad I'm going to get the help of from you, my friend. Luigi will be glad to help out. But it was Schultz's idea. Your horse, right, Luigi. You will feel better when you hear us singing with you in the chorus. That's right, Luigi. Also, I got another idea. Confidential. I got ten kids coming to clap for us. You got ten kids? I got ten kids, too. They're jumping here, many I also got ten kids. There'll be kids is coming. Himmel, but I like to have the sneaking in confession. Thank you, Barney Robbins. That was three-year-old Barney Robin playing a Beethoven sonata with one hand. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to introduce another neighborhood act, Schultz and Basco. Luigi, yes, Luigi, tell me, who was that lady I seen you with last night? That was an old lady, that was my wife. Give him the hook. Go ahead, Luigi. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, sure, sir. Come on, Spanner, you are expecting somebody at your house. That's right, Luigi. We are expecting a little bundle from heaven. Who are they really? Your wife, or she's having a baby? No, that's my uncle. He's a midget and he's flying in from Australia. <laughs> Give him the hook. <laughs> Luigi, don't stand there. Sing or start ducking. <laughs> And all the cowpoke when a rising in the park when a windy day. <laughs> Upon the ridge, he took the rest and then he went away. All at once, the mighty heart of a red skin is cows he saw. And when it threw the ragged skies and up the cloudy draw. If he had Give him the hook! <laughs> <laughs> and the bronze was still on a fire, and the hooks was a metal steel. The horns was a black and a shiny, and the hot the breath that he could have feel. <laughs> a ball to the fill with a throw, man, and they ran right through the sky. But as I saw the riders coming hard again, and then he heard them and started to cry. Face 
was the gun. Oh! I'm a coming down and took care of you in a second. I'm going to to write to you. Looks like I'm never going to be a Sinatra. But now I've got another big thing for my future. Pasquale is to see how I'm a catch of tomatoes on a stage with my hand. So he's to buy me baseball gloves. Yes, sir, Mamma Mia. Pasquale is going to manage me, and I'm going to be a section of Joe DiMaggio. Uh-huh. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Berman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. And Conrad is Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Falding, and Jody Gilbert as Rosa. 